Welcome back, Tigers. This is part 11 of the MailChimp to Salesforce integration series. You may have run into some data storage problems with your MC campaign hourly stats object. These records are created every hour for each MailChimp campaign for the first 48 hours after the campaign is sent. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a flow that will automatically delete the records in this object that were created from the previous day. If you implemented our part three video where we review how to sync MailChimp campaigns to Salesforce campaigns, your campaign stats are being updated directly on your Salesforce campaigns, so you don't need the data in this object. Let's hop over to Salesforce and see how to build this scheduled flow. Here we are in Salesforce and our first step will be to check out our data storage. We'll come into setup and we're gonna to go to storage usage. and we're looking for MC campaign hourly stats, and we can see that we have 72 records. You can also see the percentage of space that this object is taking up within your org. We highly recommend that you go ahead and create this flow because it's super easy and it'll help keep this object really clean. Our first step will be to go to object manager. We'll go to the MC campaign hourly stats object. going to create a new field. It will be a formula. The name is created date is yesterday and this is a checkbox. Our formula is going to be the date value of the created date equals today minus one. So what this is looking for is any of the MC campaign hourly stats records that have a created date of yesterday. If you don't want this to run only on the records that were created yesterday, you can change this formula to be whatever you want. We're going to put some help text down in here. This is a helper field used in the scheduled flow to identify the records that were created yesterday. Now that our field is created, we are ready to create our flow. Our next step is to go to flow. We'll create a new flow. This will be a scheduled triggered flow. And then we're going to set this to run daily. Now we're not going to set it to run daily at the normally scheduled time that we want it to be, which will be at 1 AM. We're going to schedule it to run here in a little while. So, Actually, this needs to be 3.45 p.m. because we want to see that it actually deletes records. So we'll see how quickly we can get this flow set up. Then we're going to choose the object. This will be our MC campaign hourly stats object. So every time a record fits this criteria, it's going to come into this schedule triggered flow. So we're going to use our formula field here, which says created date is yesterday equals true. So for any record, that is the MC campaign hourly stat object that was created yesterday, it's going to come into this flow. Then our next step is to set up a delete records element. So we're going to delete the MC campaign hourly stat record. And then we're going to just choose the record there. So that's it. The name of our flow will be MC campaign hourly stat delete records daily. And then the description will be this flow will run daily at 1 AM to delete the records in the MC campaign hourly stat object that were created yesterday. We'll click save here. And then we can see here that we need to specify the default workflow user in our process automation settings. What that means is we'll come over here and we'll go to process automation settings and we need to specify a user in here. All right, that's set up. We can come back over here and we can click activate. Now, how this works is in your process automation settings, whoever the default workflow user is, that's which user is used to run your scheduled flows. And then the time that's used to 
indicate when your scheduled flow is going to run that the time zone is found in your company information section. So we'll pop over there. So your org has a default time zone here. Whatever this time zone is set to, that is the time zone that your scheduled flows will use. So currently right now, our flow, our scheduled flow is going to run at 345 Eastern time. Now, whenever you schedule a flow, schedule a scheduled flow, it will show up in your scheduled jobs. So you can see right here, the MC campaign hourly stat delete records daily. That is the scheduled flow. And we can see that it's set to run today in about 15 minutes. So we are going to wait for that to run. And then we're going to come back and check to see if any of our records were deleted in our object. All right, it's past the time that our job was scheduled to run. And we expect to see that 24 records that were created yesterday were indeed deleted by our scheduled flow. We're going to come over to here and go to our storage. and we'll go to our MC campaign hourly stats and we can see that we have 48 records left. So 72 minus 24 equals 48. So our scheduled flow ran perfectly. Now, one thing we wanna let you know about what happened when we were testing with large volumes of records in this object. Whenever you have more than 250,000 records in the object that you're running a scheduled flow on, it will fail, completely fail. There's nothing you can do to fix it. You have to get your scheduled flow to run on a smaller subset of records. Now, another thing that we ran into when we also tried to run it on hundreds of thousands of records under 250,000, but greater than 200,000 is we kept getting the error that it was unable to obtain exclusive access to the record. And this is due to multiple MC campaign hourly stat records being related to the same MC campaign record. At least that's what we think. So if you have a large volume of records that you need to clean up in this object before you actually run your scheduled flow, we highly recommend that you do that using data loader. So we're going to show you how to do this manually within your org so you can clean up all your old records first and then your scheduled flow will only run on the records that were created yesterday and it won't fail. So here's data loader and we're going to run an export. You'll choose the MC campaign hourly stat object. You can select all the fields and click finish. And then you're just going to run a delete. We only have 48 records to delete. Click auto match there. And then we've successfully deleted our 48 records. We'll come to our storage usage and we will refresh this and we expect to see zero records in this object. And there it is all cleaned up. And that's how you keep your MC campaign hourly stats object from making you go over your data storage limits within Salesforce. That's it. That's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe to Blue Tiger Academy so you don't miss the upcoming bonus videos we are making based on requests from you. If you have any questions about this video, or if you would like to see a tutorial on a different MailChimp to Salesforce topic, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.